हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एक्सपोर्ट इंपोर्ट लर्निंग चैनल इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव अंडरस्टैंड द की रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द असिस्टेंट मैनेजर ओके एंड नाउ द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियोस वी आर गोइंग टू कंप्लीट इन दिस सेशन सो व्हाट आर अदर इंपोर्टेंट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर असिस्टेंट मैनेजर जॉब्स We will complete in this session. So, पहले के जी वीडियो में हमने समझा था वो क्या था मैनेजिंग इम्पोर्ट एक्सपोर्ट फॉरवर्डिंग शिपमेंट ओके सो यहाँ पे पोर्ट ऑफ लोडिंग से पोर्ट ऑफ डिस्चार्ज मीन्स की फॉरवर्डिंग पोर्ट हमें हैंडल करना था ओके okay, वो डिफरेंट मोड ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन में हमें देखना था ठीक है तो इम्पोर्ट और एक्सपोर्ट दोनों के केस में देखना था और सेकेंड पॉइंट क्या था कस्टम क्लियंस प्रोसीजर हमें हैंडल करना था जैसे लाइक कस्टम की क्या क्या रिक्वायरमेंट होती है क्या क्या डॉक्यूमेंट्स होते हैं so that things we have already complete in previous session so now in this session we will start with the next point okay so point is maintaining and manage okay maintaining and manage all documentary records for all import shipments as per data retention policy data retention policy means that uh, now we can understand the the documents and records are maintained in the soft copy of the drive okay computer drive so here we have to understand the whatever company policy have kept we have to follow that so here just like a we are going to import any shipments and all the documents which pertain to particular shipments we need to maintain and manage as per record as record okay so what we will do in this step by step we need to follow the instruction just like a start shipment from the perform invoice so we will uh, we will uh, we will save the perform invoice in the particular shipment folder then perform for purchase order okay then shipment sales so commercial and packing list in other document shipping like shipping bill this document will is we will uh, save in this uh, particular uh, drive okay so in that way the step by step the particular step uh, happens and and that uh, as per we have to sub, uh, save the document okay so this is very important nowadays that documents should be keep and maintain in the right way so that in in the future times we will not face any problem okay like any query raised by the custom after in process of audit audit, uh, audit okay so <clears throat> they can ask us any kind of documents if we have not uh, have that particular document that time then we will in problem so we have to keep and manage and maintain all the record of the shipments which we are importing and exporting so here the responsibility of maintaining the import shipment records so all the document which belong to import we need to save in particular drive or we can say hard copy in the file so which is uh, we can understand just like a popi commercial packing list bill of lading shipping bill bill of entry here in case of import shipping bill of the that particular countries uh, supplier country so there is no need to keep that but we need to keep the bill of entry of the importer countries okay so means our country so is important and other document we can say lc and uh, uh, we can say bank release order or other which documents and payment receipt okay this document we also can be kept in record so uh, in the case of any uh, query or audit or any problems or uh, we uh, we receive objection from custom or our internal uh, auditors or external auditor we have to uh, explain the all documents and present the documents okay so if we talk about the next point the next point is work closely okay with global trade compliance gtc this is very important uh, we can say this is very important stakeholder department okay which work in every company this uh, gtc is keep all record and knowledge regarding the other destination countries 
what are their requirements and all things so we have to keep touch in that particular department work with closely okay just like we are exporting any goods from india to uh, mexico okay so in this case we have to aware and requirement of the custom procedure of the mexico so who will help in this case global trade compliance team will help in this case so we have to closely work with the gtc to ensure and other standard operation procedure for the exim operations okay so what is the actual standard of operating system procedure they made we have to follow this step by step okay for which for the exim operation for the exporting and importing like that okay so we work closely with the G gtc now next point is manage special shipment okay manage special shipments such as high sea cell okay we have already discussed this point, uh, in the session of high sea cell but we briefly try to understand what is high sea cell in this session okay so <coughs> just like a, any traders uh, once uh, going to import any shipments and before arrival of the shipments in the destination country uh, the trader sell this shipment to the another uh, importer okay so this shipment is sell on the sea way so that's why it's called high sea sell okay so the part of custom clearance and uh, transportation and uh, port port activities all activities handled by the actual importer okay so what we have to do in this case we have to prepare invoice and packing list in the name of actual buyer so here we were here we we was the importer of the shipment but now we have uh, sell the shipment to another so okay now drop shipment also is the important point the drop shipments and when we have any buyer but we have not a sources of the uh, that particular goods which asked by the countries okay so in that case what will have we do so in such case if we have not a uh, uh, any product for uh, uh, for uh, asked by the our customer in that case we will buy this product to another sources which is available in our country so wh what we will do we pick up that pro particular pro product from the other third party supplier and drop the shipment to the actual buyer so uh, we have to understand that we are not manufacturer in this product we have pick up this product from third party and sell to other so the, in this case we the shipment is called a drop shipment okay another shipment under shipments clearance under bond with 100% compliance document management okay uh, shipments clearance under bond okay sometimes we have seen that uh, shipment that particular shipment is we are importing that we have to give the bond of bond to the custom that we are we will pay the duty and all the thing in case of epcg and advance license because with that time particular time we are we will not pay any sh we will not pay we will not pay any duty because we are using license like advance and epcg license so in that case we have to give the bond to the customer